Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. I just got back from TwitchCon, uh, I believe yesterday, uh, and I'm finally happy to announce that I am going to be trying out one of the MMOs that I was talking about. I don't actually think I listed Black Desert on there, but it's always kind of been, you know, it's always been kind of like right here. I just haven't really had the time to play it. Um, now that I kind of have the time to play it, I'm super excited. The last time I checked out Black Desert was when it was in Korea. So this was 2015, so to be fair, I really haven't done much in Black Desert before. Uh, so there's kind of like a world of stuff for me to explore. And also, I love creating YouTube content for MMOs because for me, it feels so natural. Uh, it's, just, it's just something that's really fun to do. Anyway, I just want to show you guys a little bit about the game. Um, like I said, I don't really know much. I'm currently playing a Dark Knight um, and a lot of BDO is revolved around, I think, like your Awakening class which is at like level 50, it's 50 something. Basically at 50 something, you get like an entire new set of skills and the way you play your class changes drastically. Uh, don't mind her baby face. So uh, just to explain some basics of BDO if you've never played before, um, game feels pretty optimized so far. I'm playing, oh cool, attendance reward. Uh, game feels pretty optimized so far. Uh, I do believe it's on sale right now on Steam for like five bucks. So if you wanna check the game out, it's literally nothing it costs as much as your toilet paper um so that's pretty cool i will be doing some sponsored content in the near future but this is not a sponsored video at all this is strictly my opinions on the game um it's got a really nice map system that i don't fully understand yet uh, i'm sure this will be a lot more it'll, it'll just make a lot more sense once i learn the game i've only really done like pretty much this part so respecking in bdo to my knowledge is completely free up until i believe your awakening so you have, you basically can play whatever you want. This is like your basic skill tree here. Um, you would have like class rate, like basically these level up. Since this is my main attack, uh, I do believe it levels up automatically. Uh, you have the learnable skills on the right hand side here, which is the exact same thing as this. It just is showing it in like a different order. And then this is the awakening that I was talking about, which greatly modifies and, and changes the way like your your character plays right so like i know mage uh or not mage but wizard goes from like caster to like hybrid with melee and things like that so definitely really interesting take on the game since i personally really like games with like a dual class system this isn't necessarily a dual class but it's more of like a class evolution kind of similar to like ragnarok you know like a job advancement so that's one thing i'm super excited about um they do their cooldowns in a very interesting way um BDO definitely feels like a more advanced MMO to me. It doesn't feel like, well, obviously it's not tab target, right? But like if I were to, for example, uh, get into combat and then I think it's F. Yeah, there we go. You can see the cooldown of my skill is here. And then if I were to tap here, you can see another cooldown there. So I thought that was just, it's a really clean interface compared to uh, most things I'm used to, like being down here. You have to stare down here to sticky interface, but definitely so far really excited for this. Now, of course, the game does have a lot of auto-run. Uh, I know a lot of people are turned off by auto-run. I personally don't really care. If you don't like the auto-run, you don't have to use it. I like it because it allows me to basically go through, read my skills as I'm learning the game. It just saves time in the end, you know? Um, especially in a world like BDO where there's just, there's just so much to do. <laughs> like, there's just so much to do, right? So basically, my, my goal for right now is I want to start leveling up. Uh, I just... I'm not really in a rush to go anywhere you know i feel a lot of the times our issues with mmos are because we just zerg and rush everything and i'm not really gonna do that this go around maybe after playing the game for like two three weeks if i get a little bored i'll start to like really 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 start just like you know just just hardcore grinding but for right now we're gonna chill you know play eight hours a day ten hours a day enjoy ourselves we're gonna be questing um on our main storyline quest which i believe is this okay it's this little dude here this little black spirit is pretty cool. It's one of the, probably the best questing system I've ever really had to deal with. Essentially, this is like your portable main quest line guy. And uh, you basically just hit the little comma button. He pops up, he gives you a quest. You go and do the quest, hit the little comma button, turn it in, pick up another quest and go. And then of course you have your side quests and everything else, but I can't really speak on that stuff yet because I've pretty much only done this. Uh, another thing about BDO that I really like is actually how fluid the game feels so for an example um we have a let's see pull out tab so i've got like kind of like a i'll just call it like a sidestep right this will be like my sidestep so i can do this and i can do it forward 
but I have to do shift to do it forward. So, in reality, I could, for example, go like um, one, okay, sorry, one, and then you could like, oh, oh, I fucked up, hold on, it's early in the morning, let's try that again. So we could do like one, and then, why doesn't F work? Is it because I'm... Oh, okay, hold on. I, I fucked up. We'll try We'll try again. We'll try again one more time. Hold on. Let me get, let me get a nice sip of coffee. This will be edited out. Don't worry, I promise. All right, let's try it again. So we're going to move forward, and I'm going to press this one into this one, and then you can, like, go like this, which is pretty cool, right? Like, I don't know. I like that. I like having, like, the really fluid combat uh, in an MMO when I'm playing because nobody wants to be stuck in place and just forever. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. I don't really have too much I can tell you guys because I don't really know anything about the game yet. So all I can really tell you is I'll be live streaming this game every day for until further notice. You may seem like you may see like some other, you know, sponsored content pop in here and there for like an hour or two. I know I've got a bounty for Assassin's Creed Odyssey, so I'll probably be doing that today, if not tomorrow. But it's only going to be for like an hour. Anyway, that's about it. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Uh, feel free to come join me on my BDO adventure while I essentially learn through the game. This game is very beautiful looking, I have to say. <laughs> um, also, big shout out to the BDO community because I met up with a lot of them at TwitchCon, a lot of the partner streamers, and they're really fucking cool, man. Like, to be honest, like, all of them are really, really cool, um, and I, I really enjoy that, so... I'm gonna see you guys all later. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Remember, if you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash pox. Have a great one, everybody.